everyone. This is going to be the official Frank for Famous channel where we'll be discussing transfers, speculations, and rumors for Chelsea Football Club. A rumor that has been going on right now. Names are Jorginho and Marilyn Pjanic from Juventus. Right now, I just want to squash that right now. I don't know why we've been hearing about transfer rumors with Jorginho at all. He is our co-captain. Frank Lampard made him co-captain for a specific reason. Let's just see how it is. These rumors, we should just forget about them. Jorginho is a hell of a player, a hell of a captain. He's vocal, he has great technique, he's strong on the ball, great passer. His defensive is lacking. Um, he's not really built as a defensive midfielder, but he helps our game tick. He received yeah. a lot of backlash last season when Sari brought him in, as a lot of us looked at him as just one of the pet of the teams. Basically, he came in because Sari was there. But Frank Lampard saw something in him and decided to make him co-captain. So I'd say right now, let's just squash all the rumors. What I want to go into talking about is the Daily Mail has brought out a report in regards to Colum hudson Adoy. As we know that he did have COVID-19 and was able to go ahead and do his quarantine and now he's no longer having symptoms from it. Thank you, God. But they are reporting that Cullum hudson Doy did decide to go ahead and break some of the laws in regards to not being around others and making sure that we're keeping ourselves safe. He's young, he's excited, Fame is there, he wants to enjoy his life, he's been locked down. So he was able to get in contact with a model. Through the conversation they had, they decided they want to meet up. Yet again, let's take this with a grain of salt as we don't have the full story on this. But they decided to meet up, an ambulance and a police officer were called to the apartment around 4 o'clock a.m. on Sunday, Kalim hassan Adoy was arrested. Stories hearing about this definitely becomes very hard to take in. As we know, June might be the time that the Premier League is gonna be up and running. Hearing things like this makes it difficult for us to really concentrate on the football aspect and starts to put a little bit of a dampening on the club's name. Hopefully, this is nothing. Frank Lampard is great at managing his players and we'll be able to move on from this. And this will just be a, a story of the past. ESPN has also reported that Frank Lampard is looking to release five of his first team players in order to start his summer rebuild. We all know that we need a rebuilding process. We have a couple of players who are past their prime or do not fit into the team goals. So it's time for us to bring in players of Frank Lampard's vision. The players that have been speculated about are Michi Bashuai, Bakioko, Zappacosta, Alonzo, and Emerson. What are your thoughts, you guys? I believe some of those players, it is time that we decide to let them go. Um, they've been servants of Chelsea, but to a certain extent, our vision is going somewhere totally different. Those players will be able to help other teams and other leagues as they're still top players. Big fan of Bakayoko. I definitely feel like he didn't get a real opportunity to show his actual skill set and his determination as he's a very strong player. He did come in injured. That is something that I think we didn't take into perspective. Was him coming in injured, it was always gonna be a process before he was able to get back to being fully confident. Yes, he did go on a, out on loan and come back and wasn't able to make it into the first team. I believe that we're giving up on him too early. If we do decide to let him go, I definitely think we'll be able to make a, a large sum from his sale as PSG have been rumored to be interested in his services. So it would be sad for me to see him go, but 
yet again, if this is to help Frank Lampard build the team from the youth with also experience, all I can do is give him faith and know that he's going to set us in the right direction. Alonzo and Emerson believe they would be the left backs of the future, especially Emerson. I did love his drive. He had great uh, chance to be a top left back, was good at dribbling at opponents. His defense was very well, but he did also have injuries which stalled his progress in getting back into the first team as we did see Marcus Alonso start to actually come back into fold. But we do know Marcus Alonso is not a left back. It's just not a left back. His position is wing back. That's where he thrives. Zappa Costa, I really didn't know why we brought him into the team. Um, I, I didn't think he ever really had that uh, Chelsea... Um, pedigree to him. Um, he was a player. Who, yes, he can get up and down the field, but that's all he really offered um, when it came to that. Mitchie Bashwai has... It, it breaks my heart because I know watching him playing in League One, his proudness, his skill set, his Goals, left, right foot, he had everything he needed to be a successful striker. But his confidence was lacking. Whenever he would get first team opportunities, which tend to be very slim, would never be able to come and complete the mission. It, it, it seemed like this year, he had an opportunity to finally step in front of Giroud and be our second striker off the bench. But you can just see the confidence was gone. But I will always, always have him deep in my heart because he scored that goal that was able to win us that Premier League title. So to Michi Bashwai, I wanna say thank you so much. You did a great, great service to Chelsea. And wherever you do go, you're also gonna be successful there. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything I can go ahead and you'd like to hear about or discuss. Um, please go ahead and hit that like button when you get an opportunity and subscribe. And I look forward to talking with you again. Come on, Blues.